Greetings and welcome to a short video. Today, I'm going to get, you know, show you guys how to do a question mark kick. This is one of my favorite kicks. And it's very popular because of UFC fighters like Israel Adesanya who managed to do this quite a, uh, more often than expected. Alright, so first, I'm going to move this to a, a, a So you guys can see it better. Now first, I throw mine off my back leg. So, you can't get in your stance. Pull this leg up. Now, now when you do the question mark kick, you want your, you know, you know, leg to angle inward like this. The more, the further you have it inward, in, the better your kick's gonna be. But at the same time, it's easier to tell you're going for a question mark kick like this than if it was just here. So, it depends on how fast you are, as well as how good the other person is at seeing these things. And, if it looks like they're in defend, going to defend against the question mark kick, so hit them with this. Outside roundhouse. But, after that, what you want to do now, hit with your hips. It, sorry, it's hard to do this while standing. I'll just hold on to this while doing it. You're going to want to pivot your hips like this, so that your leg you know, is going up, upwards. And then from that point, just extend. This kick's pretty hard to see coming if a person coming, and uh, a lot of people actually don't know about this one. Of course, you don't want to throw it too much because, you know, it, it's one of those moves that's more so meant to be a surprise for the other person. For instance, strikes like, say, back fists. I do it a lot because it's one of those moves they can just throw out like it's nothing, and there's not much risk if, you know, if they manage to stop it. But this one, yeah, if you throw it like this and they catch you, they're going to get knocked over, especially if they are a decent, if they're decent at judo, or even just wrestling, especially judo, though. But if they catch you on the block to extend, you're already off balance. And if they just push you over, or even just, or, or of course tripping you, or as I mentioned, judo, you're going down. So don't use it too much. But if you can catch a person with it, oftentimes I find pretty good. Yeah, pretty good at securing a knockout, or at least stunning him so you can hit him with another thing. And as for setting it up, I just throw a couple front kicks. And there you go. Thank you all very much for watching. This is Random Man, signing off.